That'll get us pretty close to uh, to five o'clock, actually. Thanks. Is Con still going to have his reply? Oh, yeah, I am Con in reply, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I haven't started yet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joel Jamal. Um, my dad is uh, from Syria. He moved here when he was four years old. My mum uh, from Lebanon. We love our country. We love what your party has done uh, for us. We love all the work Fred has done, Paul Green has done, the whole party has done, the executive have done. One of the issues that I've had to wrestle with as a young Australian, a young Syrian Lebanese Australian, Christian Orthodox Maronite, is unfortunately I've got the lesson of history. I appreciate your speech, Paul, that we should be patient. But from my perspective, it's not quick enough. Let me tell you why. One of my Syrian cousins, he was beheaded by ISIS, Christian man. You know how his dad found out about that? On TV, he was lined up. Do you know how my country of Lebanon was taken over? Tolerance was, was, was preached. Mm. Lebanon used to be a fully Christian country. It's now 35% Christian. They got in, we didn't react. The churches, as Fred said, the churches didn't get involved. And what happened? They took over. In the 70s, you'd be having you'd be having a barbecue with your with your next door neighbors who are Muslim and they'd be trying to kill you the next weekend. This is why I get impatient. Because it's about life and death. Even my Christian, our Christian brothers and sisters are still being beheaded, burned in cages by, by ISIS. Thankfully, ISIS has gone now from there. But it's an issue. And if you think that Australia is safe. That's what we said. If you think that God is in, on your side, he is. But you must learn the lessons of history. One minute to go. So when, I, so when Dr. Khan gets up and he tells you this, he gives you the graphs and he tells you this is the performance. Why don't you listen to him? Why don't you listen to him when he says, we're not doing it quick enough? When Samra produces a list of grievances, and you don't let him speak, why do you think the youth are leaving your party? What's, I mean, convince me to stay. That's the real question. Why should I hang around? Why shouldn't I go to some of these other parties that have a very comprehensive manifesto on how they're going to professionalise the party, get ready for the next election, have primaries for the people that are running for the party? You tell me why I should stay. Because I, I'm running out of reasons. And you're wondering why the youth have not hung around. I rest my case. Uh, speaker against the motion.